Hello, I'm Dr Sam Clark. I'm a senior lecturer in the Welsh School of Architecture here at Cardiff University. I'm also the Director of Admissions to Architecture. I've been teaching here at the school uh, since 2008, uh, particularly on the BSc programme for which you're interested in hearing about. I am a qualified architect and I trained at Cambridge, Cardiff and Kingston University in London and went on to do a PhD at Newcastle University. So I know the sector that you're currently exploring. Looking back to when I applied uh, to study architecture, I was interested in pursuing a, a design degree. Uh, initially I looked at a, a foundation programme for art, but became interested and, and probably encouraged to pursue a degree, a university education. And architecture struck me as a really interesting discipline because it, it, it spans um, humanities, sciences, uh, engineering and uh, art and design. Um, I think architecture is a really interesting course to apply for uh, and is a good place to, to kind of exercise those different muscles in your brain. Architecture I think is really important and has, has a special role to play in, in helping society answer some really uh, wicked problems. I think a design education is really good uh, practice for for learning how to respond to problems such as uh, how to accommodate a, a super aged population in the UK and elsewhere. Uh, design uh, is, is a good training in, in how to um, think about uh, problems that don't have an easy or obvious solution. I think you should choose the Welsh School of Architecture because it has a long-standing history over 100 years. It's a, a top UK ranked institution uh, and equally has a good global reputation. We're a large school and therefore have a critical mass uh, of students and staff but also alumni and therefore we have a big reach into uh, practices and, and the construction industry more broadly. I think because of our size we offer a, a depth of um, expertise and um, also we are a, a very diverse and dynamic uh, community with many people coming from around the world and uh, engaging with research uh, around the, the globe as well. So the BSc in Architectural Studies is a three-year programme, a four-year full-time programme at the WSA. It is uh, a programme that has design at its centre uh, and we talk in terms of design studio which is um, both a, a place and, and a community but also a methodology if you like, an, an approach to learning. Here we talk about uh, learning by doing and a lot of that doing is, is done in the design studio through applied design projects. In those terms, it's a very hands-on course and we ask our students to engage with real-world problems and uh, we're interested in the conceptual, but ultimately we want to arrive at, at buildings and built environments that uh, work for people and place. We, um, while design is at the centre, we also offer a range of taught modules uh, such as the history and theory module and the architectural technology strand which feed into the architectural design uh, module uh, and therefore the studio. We have a range of facilities here at the Welsh School of Architecture and fortunately we have benefited from a, a recent um, investment in our building and facilities and uh, to the tune of several million pounds and therefore have um, a suite of refreshed studios but also some new facilities in the form of workshops and digital media labs and facilities in, in the digital domain range from 3D printers, uh, laser cutters, uh, CNC machine and uh, a robotic arm. I believe that our school offers some of the best studio accommodation to incoming students in, in the field of architecture and if you get the chance to visit, uh, please do, do visit us on one of our open days. You'll see that we have some fantastic studios, um, particularly for first year and right through the, the degree programme here at the Welsh School of Architecture. Students will get to go on a range of study trips as, as part of the uh, core curriculum 
on the BSC. And these trips will range in scale and type from um, one-off, one-day events, perhaps visiting a, a case study location or building uh, that may be local to, to Cardiff uh, or within the UK. And there'll also be opportunities to go overseas, uh, funded opportunities to go overseas. We really invest heavily in field trips because we think they're a really fantastic tool for, for learning, uh, learning about architecture and experiencing architecture firsthand. We think it's really important that we, students and staff members, uh, get to go on field trips and experience architecture in the flesh, at life size, and, and to, to smell it, touch it, feel it, uh, as well as to uh, understand it in plan and section. We, um, we would encourage anyone that has a creative capacity, a curiosity and a portfolio of strong academic qualifications to apply to our school. We don't look for a specific profile of student really, uh, we're not looking for specific subjects. In fact, if you have a, a broad sweep and range of subjects, that's probably to your advantage. Architecture is quite a fluid discipline and so it's helpful to have some um, mathematical or scientific capacity as much as it is to have a design and art practice uh, and anything in between. We're, we're not looking specifically for a maths A level nor do we require you to have done an art foundation program elsewhere. Um, equally we don't expect you to have architectural experience. It's uh, quite a tricky thing to, to, to gain access to at your stage. Um, we're really looking for students, applicants with a creative capacity, uh, curiosity and strong portfolio of qualifications. If you don't have art and design as a background, uh, we will quite likely ask you to supply a creative portfolio where you can demonstrate your capacity in that domain. If you're interested in applying, and I'd encourage you to do so, uh, you would do that through the UCAS uh, online system. Uh, you may well get uh, some, some indirect contact through the university. We do have a central admissions office in the university and a local one within the school. There's a possibility that if you don't have an art and design background, we would ask you for a portfolio. That portfolio would contain um, anything really that, that demonstrates your creative capacity. So it could be um, uh, it could be showcasing your pottery, uh, your photography, um, maybe a, a spatial practice through uh, dance or choreography, filmmaking and so on. It really is um, it's important that we, we don't um, give you a brief actually, otherwise we'll get uh, lots of copycat uh, portfolio. So make it your own and make the most of that open brief and use it to really showcase your individuality. If you have any questions, uh, you can direct them through the university and, and they may relay that to us in the School of Architecture. You can find contact details on our website.